I'm here today to talk to you about Room 753, which is a project we undertook with Tourism and Events Queensland. Uh, ran for around six months, started in January, finished at the end of June, so we've just completed the project. Um, I'm here today not so much as a social media and digital media expert. I certainly couldn't call myself that in a room full of experts. Um, I'm certainly a, an enthusiast and a public relations person trying to navigate my way through the myriad of opportunities that are afforded in this space. So what we'll cover today is a bit of background about the project and how Peppers became involved, what happens during each visit, some of the highlights and some of the key learnings and challenges. Uh, I've got Q&A there, but uh, I think we'd probably all prefer to do that over a glass of wine tonight anyway. So just a bit of background, um, we all know that Travel blogs in particular, not so much for mummy bloggers, Sophie, but travel blogs in particular are great motivators for, uh, for travel. Great source of information and excellent for two-way feedback. The content produce all the right words sort of coming out around here, especially as a PR person trying to get your, your product or your message or your experience out to potential visitors and guests. So it's, the content's trusted, it's quality and it has an engaged audience. Our influence has had a broad range of interests, surfing, uh, empty nesters, scuba, all a broad range of followers, therefore, um, all with a common interest of travel. It was a combined social reach of around 10 million and a conservative estimate of around 20 million blog and website followers. So we've got this massive global reach, but we've also learned that digital influencers are getting tired. It, is, it sounds like a glamorous life to travel the world, to earn a living, and it is in many ways, but it's also draining when there's no downtime. And that was a really new, unique aspect of the Room 753 project that we could really tap into as the hotel component of the project. So, the equation is huge global reach, high level of burnout, and that's really what equals Room 753, which actually translates to Room Queensland on a keypad touch, touchpad. The project consisted of two phases. The first phase really was owned by uh, TEQ, where 25, 22 high-profile bloggers, Instagrammers, videographers made their way around Queensland regions. Some went to the outback, some went to North Queensland, South East Queensland, uh, Sunshine Coast. At the end of each of the visits, they came to us at Room 753, Peppers Broad Beach, on the Gold Coast, where they were charged with resting, recuperating and writing. So how did Peppers become involved? When Tourism Queensland went out with the initial RFP late last year, what stood out to me was that this was a potential way to focus on the room. Many tourism campaigns, quite rightly, focus on the destination. That is, after all, where the experiences lie. That's how people book their travel mostly. They, they pick their destination, they work out their experiences, and then the logistics come into play. But this was a real chance for us to be front and centre as the hotel and make the room more than just a bed for the night. It also gave us a chance for some international exposure. The Peppers brand is a 30-year brand in Australia, well known across the East Coast. We're just starting to expand into Southeast Asia. We've opened our first hotel in Bali. And we're trying to tap into some of those international markets. And at the moment, our, our budgets in the traditional marketing and advertising forums just won't reach. So this was a, a foot in the door with these, uh, these audiences through the influencers. Saying that, though, we really wanted to position Peppers as the hotel brand to stay in Queensland. We have seven hotels in Queensland. Uh, many of the bloggers stayed with us in the first phase of the Room 753 campaign. So we really wanted to be front and centre in that market as well. Brand alignment, our slogan is we're all about you. When they came to us at, at Room 753 at Peppers Broadbeach, 
The experience was customised, it was personalised, it was all about them. It was a way to stand out uh, amongst other experiences that these bloggers might have had in other destinations where there was a component that was really all about them. And in that regard, we wanted to position Peppers as the Australian hotel, hotel brand for digital influencers. We wanted to let them know that we're open uh, to working in, in this space, just, just like TEQ. Want them to know that uh, as a destination, Tourism Queensland are, are proactive and working in this space as well. So this, the process started with uh, the selection of the digital influencers. That was really a process undertaken by TQ and the agencies around the globe. Once they were selected and locked into dates, uh, we learnt about their interests. This was done by official surveys, but there was also a lot of stalking going on, a lot of cyber stalking, that we could fill in the blanks um, that a survey just doesn't show. And it really paid off when it came to creating the pre familiar itinerary and the experiences that were customised at Room 753. So, days one to seven was the pre familiar in Queensland, and then from day eight, they came to us. Follow up on the reporting, we'll get to you later. So this is a, um, a snapshot of the setup of Room 753. I'm sorry, it's a little bit blurry, but I'll just walk you through. I hope I've got... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so they enter the door here at the Room 753 sign. The first thing they see are personalised photos of their family, their mum, their dad, their buddies, their dog. Something that has, they haven't seen for a while. Um, and they immediately know that this is going to be something special, something personal. Moving around the room, this is the workspace that we've got here, decorated with some um, crazy kitschy Australian, Australian stuff. Um, we got clothes in from Australian and New Zealand, uh, New Zealand, <laughs> Queensland designers, um, Aussie Bum and Peter Alexander. We had the Peppers candle burning so that there was the sense of smell was associated with peppers. They could take a little travel candle with them when they left, so they always had that scent with them. Um, books, wine from Cirame Wines in southeast Queensland. Up here, a very important one. Um, these were plastic feet that we placed on the balcony to encourage them to head out on the balcony and share their view of the world with their followers. They really didn't need, need much prompting because we got some fantastic images. Um, part of the survey was that we found what movies they loved, so we stacked the room with those. Um, some Bundy rum, good Queensland brew. Um, a welcome pack that we, one of the challenges that we set for them while they were staying at Room 753 was to work their way through some um, Aussie experiences like the Tim Tam Slam. Uh, they had to try Vegemite, they had to go and find a, a hamburger joint that, and have beetroot on their hamburger. Um, and finally, this was a big hit as well, the Bundaberg ginger beer um, with their faces printed on them, so personalised ginger beer. So this is some of the reactions to uh, the personalisation that we put in place. Um, Sherry Ott, uh, one of my things, favourite things about Room 753 is they placed photos of my family, made it like a real home. I haven't had family photos up for seven years. Totally brought tears to my eyes and uh, Runaway Juno. Best cyber stalking ever. <laughs> I'll just play a, a quick um, video from Miss Malini, who has a, a Twitter reach of around 270,000 uh, and a, another huge um, following on Instagram and a very engaged um, following on her blog. So if we could just play. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you <laughs> yeah. kidding me? That's amazing. That's so cute. I'm like, you feel at home. Yeah. Aww. Everything in the room, you can oh. take all your personalized stuff. So there's heaps of things. Obviously, we stalked your survey and, and we've <laughs> cyber stalked you everywhere. So um, <laughs> there's lots of stuff all around the room. I think that it's really personalized that you'll like. That's incredible. And, yeah. yeah. All your favorite fruits and stuff. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? That's yeah. Really cool. I think that it like, smells amazing in here. Yeah. yeah, this candle is burning. So yeah. What's with the Polaroid camera? Yeah. <laughs> what? A little bit of old school. They've definitely done their research. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. That right. is incredible. This yeah. is incredible. Okay, we have to do the tour of the room. Yes. Go for it. All right. <laughs> First of all, I still can't get over the personalization. Look, this is the, the famous, infamous Say Surfboard. Oh, yeah. And all the world bloggers have signed, and we shall too. <laughs> so cool. Look at this. I love all the apartments that they have here. So gorgeous. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> That's so amazing. There's presents all over this room. Wow. This is incredible. Oh, well, look, they got your gossip rags just for you. <laughs> so perfect. This is what I shall be reading on the beach. Amazing. And uh, let's, let's go look the view. at the view. Yeah. I love there's another picture over here of my girlfriends. Oh, oh, that's, that's so cute. That's really, really impressive. <laughs> wow. How did you know which girlfriends to pick? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. This is where you stand. Share view of the world. This is amazing. Group 753, you have outdone yourself. This is incredible. I still can't wait to open all my presents and explore this room. And I can't believe we're going to be here for a whole week. And I shall Instagram you later. So, Miss Fellini. Uh, I just think it's important probably to point out as well that not every guest at Pepper's Broad Beach has quite the same level of personalisation. <laughs> Although, uh, saying that, and Sherry Ott actually asked our GM this as well, uh, saying that it is part of the, the Pepper's policy to do a uh, pre-check and survey to find out little quirks and any special occasions you might have in place, and we, we do our best to try and accommodate those. Some of the activities that, although there was the, the, the downtime was a very big component of their time at Room 753, um, we also set up personal experiences that was entertaining for the influencer, but also served to show off the hotel and the great facilities that we had there. So in this uh, first, first one here, um, Pepper's Broad Beach has a um, fantastic in-house cinema. It can take up to about up to about probably 20 people. It's free to hire for in-house guests. Um, we had a cheap house mm -hmm. Tuesday on a, um, and, and took the bloggers for a movie night in-house. Uh, so there's a picture of our first blogger, uh, Rob Lloyd, a very enthusiastic guy, with our equally enthusiastic GM, Craig Smith, um, who was a real force to be reckoned with with his, with his project. He was just fantastic. So lots of great images about this with the cinemas. The other thing we did was treated them to a great Aussie barbecue um, on the roof garden, the Zen roof garden. Um, this is a fantastic space at Pepper's Broad Beach that looks out over the water. Outdoor barbecue, can't go wrong. Another thing we did with them through the week was take them on a, um, a surf. It wasn't a surfing lesson as such, it was a paddle. Um, this is less than 100 metres from the front door of Pepper's Broad Beach. Um, so fantastic it's, uh, access to some, some great coast, coastline. Um, it also gave us an opportunity to get the Peppers board out there. Um, a bit of the what we're all about you branding happening. Um, first one there is a lovely Miss um, Liz Carlson. Uh, Gypsy Nester, they were empty nesters, really got involved in the Room 753 experience. And the final one, uh, Sherry Ott has actually turned the camera on our staff member who took her out for the day. And this one, I just, I just have, to, have to share this shot because I just absolutely love it. Um, some of the, the influencers um, got it more than others. There was some just really knew how to work with brands and 
and working the destination in a really cool way. And Zach Shellhammer was one of them. You know, so we've got the Peppers board there. We've got a fantastic destination shot and just a really great photograph. So back to that, those plastic feet. Um, a big reason we got the gig with Tourism Events Queensland was um, the view that Peppers Broad Beach afforded um, these guests. It is the quintessential Queensland beach view. I remember taking the TQ team in um, and opening up the door, much like Miss Malini did, and there was a wow. And that really helps win us, win us the gig. So these are just some of the view shots that we got. Really didn't need the feet. I think they were quite inspired anyway. Another thing we did was reached out to traditional media to uh, get behind the campaign. Um, the first shot here is Michael Turtle um, having his photo taken, um, feeling like a rock star. Um, he, he was getting photographed by the Korea Mail there. Um, Nada from the United Am Ar Emirates um, photographed on the Room 753 balcony um, for the Gold Coast Bulletin and the lovely Liz Carlson um, capturing the filming of her Channel 9 um, story. Fortunately, I would have loved to have shown you that today, but technology was just not on my side, so I, I'm afraid I can't show you that video. Um, the, the wins were plenty. Um, where we've only just finished the campaign. It, the last blogger left us on the 27th of June, so we don't have extensive stats to show you, but as of May 2014, 54 blog posts, 300 tweets, 180 Facebook posts, 18 YouTube videos, over 1,000 Instagram posts, not quite a billion, zillion, but 137 Google Plus. So, pretty happy so far. Um, another really big win was, um, Back to that uh, objective that we had about positioning ourselves, um, positioning Peppers as well as Queensland as a, a destination and a hotel was, that wanted to work with bloggers. The chatter was really, really great amongst the Room 753 blogging community. Um, I really especially love the um, Ian Mallory, big pat on the back for Peppers Hotels for having a vision and being brave enough to host the Room 753 project. Thanks very much, Ian. Um, I can't, we can't really take full credit for that. TUQ, absolutely fabulous job and great creative heads behind it. Some other wins. Um, we, I, I constantly battle with, you know, so what's the ROI on this? You know, how many bums and beds do we get from this kind of thing? Um, and it is, it is very hard to track a direct link right into a booking on our website. But, what we can see is some really um, positive engagement with the influencers and their audiences. So we've got comments here like, you know, great images, that view from the hotel, wow. Um, coming to Australia next year, looks gorgeous, we're dying to get to Australia, Queensland's top of our list. Wow, that looks beautiful, enjoy, stayed there in February, had a blast. You know, love that kind of chatter going on and that is great to not only with the numbers show commentary like this, resulting from a campaign. The challenges. Okay, 23 weeks is a long time. Um, possibly if we were to approach this again, we probably wouldn't do it for so long. Um, it, is, it is just hard to keep that momentum up. Um, the team at Peppers, I really have to take my hat off to the team there because they really did keep the momentum going. Um, weekly phone catch-ups with uh, Tourism and Events Queensland, because every time a, a blogger left, the room was cleared and completely re-customised again. And there was a lot of logistics that took, took place with that. And we wanted it to, seem, to, to be seamless, and, and it pretty much was. Um, it was an important role played by all stakeholders. I've just got a photo here of the, the halfway mark with not even a drop in the ocean of the amount of people that it took just at Peppers to make it happen. It was everything from housekeepers to maintenance guys, front desk, concierge, our, our GM, um, all had to be on board to really make this happen. Um, as I said before, some got it more than others. Others were a little um, reluctant to get involved with the experiences that were being put before them, um, not just at Room 753, but, but out in the pre mill as well. We had to learn from that and, and learn to maybe delve in a bit further to issues like um, 
language barriers and cultural differences that, that might just get in the way. Uh, saying that though, the um, photo of the Easter Bunny there was um, taken by one of the, the bloggers that, well she certainly enjoyed a lot of time in the room. <laughs> so she, she was in her room over Easter and uh, one of our staff members was determined to, um, to put a smile on her face. Um, so he came up dressed as the Easter Bunny and she took this great pic on the, uh, on the balcony. Um, Easter on the Gold Coast is still very hot, so hats off to him for walking through Broadbeach in a bunny outfit with melting chocolate under his arm. Um, we also had a consumer promotion that was part of the, when we discussed how we could best leverage uh, the Room 753 program, um, the consumer promotion was front and centre in those um, conversations, but we got so caught up in the week by week organisation of um, the influences coming through that the consumer promotion ended up being a little more rushed than what we'd hoped. Saying that though, it resulted in some really good subscribers, 30,000 for our, our database, and um, a very happy winner. Um, a, a thank you to TEQ for um, having a bit of a leap of faith with us. We changed our GM, and you had a new GM coming to the hotel um, about three weeks before the campaign started. He had a great pedigree from Asia in five-star hotels, and I had to assure them that, that that would get him through, he would be well across it, but they really, really had to take a leap of faith there, and thank you, Craig, because he really did come through. Um, the operational changes, as I said, we, we thought that was going to be a, a big deal, but, and lots of planning went around those, those room changes, but it ended up being pretty seamless, so that was a nice surprise, a challenge that was a nice surprise. And this um, video that I'm about to show you really uh, encapsulates both the pre mill and the Room 753 component that I'm talking about. So hopefully this will bring it all together for you. explains the project to you in full, that the, the Queensland experience was, was complemented by that customised experience at the end, which was unique to them and I think a fairly unique component in a project. I don't think anyone else has quite done anything quite like it, so it was great to be part of. Um, I just wanted to finish again with a wonderful shot from Zach Schellhammer.
from a very relieved presenter, peace out. <laughs> um, and I'll, I'll leave um, questions till, uh, over a glass of wine tonight. Thanks, everyone.